That's the I most had you something. Can do. What? I probably can't talk about it. What? What, what do you mean? You In the same about? realm of Nickelodeon? Did something happen to you? On YouTube? No, no. Okay, no. I'll, I'll. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I'm not gonna say everything. Happy Monday, Alex. Happy Monday, Roy. Today we have <laughs> guests on, and it is my brother and my sister in law, oh. Aaron and Ronnie, Hi. aka Ron Ron. Wow. Hi, good Welcome to be here. This is our first time being a podcast together. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this oh, wow. is our second time having guests. I feel honored. I thought we were the first. Well, that's different reactions. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis was first. But you guys are on now, and I'm excited to feel like uh, people have heard your story like randomly, but not all together. So we're going to get deep into your story. I want to talk about how we met, how you guys met, how you guys met, how yeah. you guys met. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot. I also <laughs> want to know their dynamics because I only see you guys from the outside. I want to know how you interact with the, this side, this guy. Ah. <laughs> sometimes we laugh at his jokes. Sometimes, sometimes we do. We sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they laugh we... and sometimes they tolerate. <laughs> sometimes yeah. we go, Alex. Sometimes <laughs> me and Ronnie have a fart off. <laughs> that is Whoa. true. It's true. <laughs> Oh, so embarrassing. let's start from the beginning with it though. So who met first? I met Ronnie first. We did. We met first at a YouTube, what was it? It was it a was YouTube a, space. Some YouTube, some YouTube competition thing. game show thing. We weren't even in the same episode. They were just filming multiple episodes, but yeah. It was like well, yeah, a, when I was leaving, you were coming in. So yeah. I was like, and then our mutual friend introduced us. And I was like, oh, hey. And then like. Oh, there's two of you. Hey. Like. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, oh, nice to meet you. And then afterwards, I actually, I, I actually didn't like know your channel. I yeah. had never seen any of your guys' videos. Mm. And so I didn't know who you were. And then after I found out, I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's, that's a big channel. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then when, when was the next time we saw each other know. after I that? It was, was like just, another maybe mutual friend. Maybe with JC's group of friends or something. I think it was like Dietrich. Yeah, Dietrich. Something with him. This oh, is 2000. Yeah. So long. Six, long before 17. Ago, before over 17? 10 years ago. Oh, and this is, uh, we broke up already then, right? Oh. Was yeah, it? I don't think I was Possibly. with him. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. I was already in Guava Juice. So when did you guys first meet? Either of you remember? I think we met in that when we did that guava video like 2021, oh, literally yeah. like three years ago. Like we very did. recent. Uh, it's very the, recent. Uh, Truth or drink or, or no. uh, the shark one. The shark video. Where oh we, yeah, yeah. Uh, Truth or drink. We was my pulled video. a shark tooth yeah. and then yeah. it either eat you or not eat you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then so I met in my life. I met Aaron, Roy, Ronnie. What's you? I've met you. And then Aaron and Ronnie. Aaron? I think you met us at the same time. Actually, no. No, I met him at school. middle school. Oh, yeah. When did you? He's what's so your sad. What's your order? Aww. Man, you, you, then you. Oh, so Ronnie's last in everybody's life. But that's okay. No, that's good. You're still the first. It's in my okay. Life. I truly think we were all meant to meet each other the way it was supposed to be. So, what was your order? I met you. Uh huh. Then Aaron, then you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, so you all met me first. And we yeah. all met Ronnie last. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And then, okay. So, okay. How'd you guys meet? So, we met at a convention called Playlist Live in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C. We technically met at LAX airport. Yes. But there was an instance where we missed each other by less than an hour. You had them over filming that video with Bradley Martin. Oh, yeah. The finger chairlift finger challenge. One. And they met, you guys met Guppy before you met Aaron, right? I met <laughs> Guppy. She even met Chi Chi. Oh, yeah, well, I didn't get to meet, but I saw them. Yeah. The chinchillas. Mm -hmm. We talked about that the other day. I was like, you had chinchillas? We had two, Momo and Chi Chi. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What happened to Momo and Chi Chi? Momo was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Momo was crazy. They hated each other. And then we looked up a bunch of articles. We had these two chinchillas. And I had one for a video. And then Aaron got one for a surprise. And then he was like, oh, I'll get a white one. But it was like a freaking walmart wait stop, stop can i guess yeah they eat each other no okay but they, we had to separate them in the same cage we had to build a mm. wall because they hated each other okay uh and then we ended up donating them to a elementary school oh mm -hmm. we we're like you know what it's your problem now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did they hold things yes yes like Chi -Chi was perfect. It, they would go like this chi chi was cool chi chi was cool Aww. momo started biting herself remember she yeah i think she tail. started stressing because she just didn't have she was like yeah. a rescue kind of yeah. situation Aww. i had a chinchilla when i was younger um 
and uh, came home from school one day, and uh, it was dead. <gasps> Wait, and is this a true story? True story. This is uh, back in the, our, you know, Trace uh, yeah. neighborhood. Yeah, I literally came home, and it was not moving. And oh, no. upon further inspection, I was looking close. There was a black widow. Oh. No way! What? I know. I do remember That's that garage, so and you know, Trace. You always had so many like birds too, right? Your sugar gliders, dogs, yeah. your sugar gliders. You had everything. Damn. No way! Yeah. That's crazy. But mm-hmm. but yeah. So I met. Uh, the the amount of times we've talked about how our cra- our uh, paths could have crossed is mm-hmm. insane. Like I remember meeting Yusuf at a VidCon, and I remember him being surrounded by really tall people. That was us. Uh, that was Aaron, but I didn't meet Aaron. And then, like, you know, we've been to so many VidCon, so many playlist live mm-hmm. events, just never crossed paths. I was literally at his apartment, never met him. Literally 30 minutes after I left, he showed up. Like, that's so crazy. Mm-hmm. It's like, literally, if there's anything to, like, have hope about, it's like all in, all in the timing, right? Yeah, for sure. So when you guys saw each other at LAX... Like, what was the interaction? Were you like, oh, I know you. You met Guppy, right? Or what was... Uh, Swoozy introduced us. I didn't oh, know I didn't yeah. know that they were the Merrill Twins. The only thing I knew about the Merrill Twins was that you and Lauren would be like, Aaron, you should date one of the Merrill Twins. They're just like you. They're so nice and funny. You should date one of the Merrill Twins. You told yeah. me that like three times. Me and Lauren were like, uh, we just like hung out with you guys a couple times. And we're like, man, like, because Aaron just got to um california and he still had the innocent east coastness and we're like man they're so innocent and aaron is so innocent they're both just good people i bet they would get along but maybe he is he too old i don't think so (laughs) that's what i thought too when i first met them i was like they're never going to be interested or she's never going to be interested in me but question when you Mm. thought of the merrill twins did you think of ronnie as being the one which one because they always ask me i was like i don't know which one he meant he just said merrill twins so I, back then I Ooh. meant either one, but I didn't know you guys that well. Now knowing both of you guys, a hundred percent Ronnie. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like not nothing's wrong with Nessa. It's just like matchup wise, mm-hmm. it's you guys for We're both sure. Goofy, yeah, yeah. goofy looking. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> uh, but when I first met Aaron, like my first impression was like, "Hi, nice to meet you." Looking up at him, and then so as you were like, "This is Alex's brother." So like. You are so nice and so friendly. And um, I immediately assumed he was so nice and friendly. And Mm -hmm. I was like, I want to be around this person because if he's anything like his brother, that means he's a great guy. Mm. So thank you. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember you guys came back and we heard that you guys like hit it off. And we were like, we knew it. We told you (laughs) so. Uh, What's the height difference? I'm six. I'll just say six, three. Sometimes I'm six, four. Mm. I think you're more six, four. On a good day. Okay, so I'm, what's the height difference? A foot? I'm five two, over a foot. Oh, right? fourteen. Oh. Yeah, fourteen Ooh. inches. Nice, nice, and, nice, nice, and, nice. And unless she wears high heels, yeah. that's closer. Or my <laughs> platform shoes. It gives mm-hmm. me a reason. <laughs> oh, nice. So when you were in DC, wait. So you were LAX, mm-hmm. and then did it just like the spark just happen, and then throughout the plane ride, or did it not? Didn't talk to her at all on the wow. plane. She did give me one of the best compliments I've ever heard. Oh. She said I looked like an anime character on the bus. Oh. He did. He looked like it, it was like an anime movie scene. He was all alone, <laughs> sitting across from all of us, and he was just on his phone, and like the trees were going by, and I was like, wow, that looks like an anime movie scene. You were like, that is the cutest loser I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. You say loser? <laughs> loser. <laughs> all by himself. So. I think much. I was watching anime on my phone at the time, too. Aww. Maybe. Yeah. And then what happened, you guys, after, wait, you got on the bus from where? Uh, from, from the airport in DC, yeah. and then that's where you were just. So we got back out. to the hotel, and um, when actually when we landed at the airport, Aaron was like, "I was like, where do we go?" And I started getting anxious because I get anxiety. And then Aaron was like, "I think we go this way," and I was like, "Wow, he's a leader. <laughs> <laughs> he could lead a whole family." I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I, was, I like this guy." And then we got to the hotel, and I went to Swoozy, and I was like. Is he single? And mm. Swoozy, in very Swoozy manner, was like, why do you ask? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, because I think he's cute, and I want to know if he's single. And he was like, I think so. Yeah, he is. And I was like, okay. And so then 
I just kept talking to the, the whole night and then we like had a chance to sit next to each other and like my way of flirting is very like not flir- flirtatious at all. Mm-hmm. Like my I did leg touching. <laughs> you didn't pick that up. He That's thought so I had obvious. personal space issues. I did. I was like, why are you so close to me? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, like I didn't think she was gonna like. Remember, I wasn't even supposed to go to playlist. Swoozy made me go to be his wingman. Yeah, and then I couldn't go for some reason either. Yeah, you had to film something. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you weren't there. No, I was not. Oh wow. Well, Lauren weren't there. there no, I didn't even hear about it until he got back oh yeah i was a hundred percent not going and he was like man i need a wingman come on it'll be fun and then that first night i met her and then i wasn't his wingman <laughs> oh you just left him <laughs> yeah <laughs> i left him with a uh, matt centaro ah cool 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 oh yeah I yeah. About him, yeah. But yeah that's pretty much it i took uh so she just turned 21 and we went to a bar and mm-hmm. Susie bought everybody drinks and remember you and Nessa didn't want to take your shots that he gave you, so I oh, drank yeah. them I drank them for them. Yeah. What's the age difference again? So it's seven years, six years? Um seven. Seven? I was twenty one, you were twenty seven. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, me and Alexa served three, yeah. uh six years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um to be fair, he didn't look like he was about to be twenty eight. So. Yeah. We didn't talk <laughs> I about had age. no idea how old he was. He didn't know how old I was. I didn't know. We just like fell in love and then we found out and we were like uh, oh, oh. We're just a couple well, well. cradle robbers out here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Genetics, man. You guys, you too. I mean, you look like you're 28 right now. When my hair's short, I look a lot younger. Yeah, we went short. True. When are you gonna do it? Uh, I'm at, I'm sh- short of an inch. I'm trying to donate it. As soon mm. as I hit 12 inches, I'm at so right half, at 11. It's usually half an inch a month. So in two more months. Summer, yeah. You're We're gonna, gonna cut June it. Or July. Do you know it. how you're gonna cut it? I went new. He went back I to old. I might, I think like more this. likely this. I don't know if I could pull off the mullet. You is that a mullet? That's a mullet, it is, right? It's a modern mullet, yeah. Modern you mullet, should yeah. Uh, find something you haven't done since you have the long hair just to do that for a little bit. Well, that's, that's what I did. I'll probably go back to a fades, mm-hmm. like probably like in three months. Well, I think what I want to do is I'm going to let Ronnie pick my haircut and I'm going to be blindfolded. So I won't know what she's going to decide. Yeah, pick something that's fun. And then, because you're not probably not going to grow it out this long ever again. No, it's such a pain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It sucks. <laughs> I got to tell you, though, when I cut my long hair to my short hair, everyone told me I look five years younger. So you're going to look younger for sure. And like, did, does, do you feel better? I feel like I have migraines every once in a while because my hair is being pulled or like, no, is that just me? I get no, eye infections. I actually got more I migraines with my short hair. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's probably just the difference. Like from being pulled back all the time yeah. to like nothing is yeah. like, yeah, I don't know. Or, and we went ghost hunting. So since that ghost hunting video, we haven't talked about this on the podcast. No, we did not. He went to the ghost hunting video and within a week? Two weeks? Within two weeks, he got four migraines and a cyst under his arm <gasps> because he kept telling the ghost, hurt me, do something to me. And then... Roy! But Why? Then, I Why? wanted but, content. <laughs> <laughs> I was Out of like, all the things. Dude, we're here for like two hours at least. Do something. And they did. <laughs> and they... It was a delayed reaction though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but also, his average, he got four migraines in two weeks, probably less than two weeks. But his average is like one migraine every three months before that. Yeah, I know. So that's still a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So don't provoke ghosts. Yeah, don't do it. Where did you go? We went to the Pasadena Bridge, and apparently it's one of the most haunted places in Los Angeles because people jumped off that bridge, and mm-hmm. there's apparently like a like a devil hole or hell hole portal down there. Yeah. Whoa. And then uh, he got got. You should yep. bring Ronnie next time you do one of those videos. No, no, yeah. no. I'm okay. <laughs> you don't like ghosts? I just don't want to be followed. I think you got followed. I didn't get followed. <laughs> well, he has a I cleansing think. tomorrow. Just a double cleansing. Dude, He's having yeah, our should... guy come back. <laughs> and like, there, it, like, it's because he was like, hurt me, hurt me if you're here. But then there's also some <laughs> crazy stuff. It was so crazy. We had to cut it from the video that he said, trying oh, to yeah. provoke them. And I feel like that's what got them. Because he yeah. was saying crazy. I was like, whoa, whoa, I can't believe you said that. Yeah, so yeah. The moral of the story, just be nice like you guys. <laughs> you guys are one yeah. of the nicest people I know. And you guys really do reciprocate one another. You guys are just yeah. overall just a bundle of niceness. That's crazy Thank you did that. Thank you. Yeah. So did you guys do it? What? Did you scream at the ghost too? Oh, I, I didn't say what he said. <laughs> I, I will never, ever, that will never be public. But he, he, but he kept saying these crazy things. And we're like, whoa. And he's like, it's okay. We're just trying to provoke them. Just cut it from editing. We're like, okay. But I was like, oh, did you? I know, I know. <laughs> it was cool. I know, I it was cool. He was just brave. Would uh, you do another one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I will respect them more. 
Yeah. That's all I got to say. I think uh, we're going to bring Alexis next time. No yeah. way. Yeah, I think she's down. Okay. Don't yeah. bring me. Or me. Yeah. Um, okay, so we talked about how you guys first met. Uh-huh. Before we get into hiding your relationship from the public and how you maneuvered that and how it was like combining audiences and stuff, let's talk about how you started YouTube, your individual journeys. Mm. Um, I think you were trying to be an actress first, right? And Aaron was trying to be a pharmacist. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go first? Mine's, go I first. think mine's a lot easier than yours. You go first. Um, I was in college trying to figure out whatever I wanted to do, and I was making videos. Where were like you at? A, at UNC Charlotte. That's right. So I was at UNC Charlotte, and you came by for a party, you and Jeremy. I did. Yeah, we did. And I showed you one of my videos. I was like, hey, I did this. And you're like, you should post this. And I was like, you think so? He's like, yeah, just post it. Just post anything on YouTube. And, yeah, just do it. You got to start somewhere. You just got to do it. Yeah. yeah. So I did it, and then I was like, okay, I got to come up with a uh, channel name. And you were like, <laughs> and I, I regret, I shouldn't have did it. He was like, do Lazy, lazy Ron. And I was like, what, why Lazy Ron? You're like, because it sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> he was lazy at the time. We were both lazy. Like, I was, I was sleeping in all the time. He was sleeping. We loved to sleep. So and I was that, like, oh, lazy oh Ron. that's been like the most, quite, why Lazy Ron? I was like, my brother told me to do it. It was a cool name. It was better than what we had at the time. Yeah. <laughs> we, didn't, we couldn't think of anything else. And Lazy Ron sounded cool. Um, anyways, I started doing that. And before I knew it, um, YouTube got to a point where it was paying more than what I wanted to do from school. Hmm. And then Alex was like, you should come out to California. Live out here. Have fun. And then... I was like, my boyfriend just broke up with me. You can move in yeah. with me. No, wait. No, when I moved out here, you guys were still together. Oh, were you? Yeah. Oh, so you were yeah, in, yeah, the, yeah, in the messy yeah. stuff. He uh, was in the messy stuff. Uh, yeah. Because my girlfriend at the time... <gasps> How dare you? Didn't think of your future wife? Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> so I moved out here with my girlfriend at the time. And she lived with... She, yeah. She, yeah, yeah, she yeah, lived she with you. Uh, roommate, yeah, roommate. Yeah, roommate. And then so I'd go back and forth. So we were walking distance too. Mm-hmm. And then after that, we became roommates. And then now we're here. There you go. Yeah. And then uh, you started doing YouTube, and then you switched it from Lazy Around to Aaron Burris. Yeah. Right? <laughs> My manager was like, you should do that. And I was like, can I do that? She's like, yeah. Well, I was thinking more like Lazy Around. I thought you could be like relatable lazy. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, True. show them stuff. And then people would be like, oh, that's just like me. And that's what I was thinking. And then he's just like, everybody thinks I'm lazy. So and I was like, <laughs> All right. Everybody's like, you don't seem lazy. I was like, I'm not. When, when you moved to Los um, Angeles, what, did you think ever thought you were gonna stay here or no. were you, you thought we were gonna move back i i was like i'm gonna stay while alex stays have fun hang out and then you move back um, to north carolina yeah but what's funny is before i met her i talked to you but i was like do you think i should like move back to north carolina because i was making enough like the amount of money you make in california versus the amount you make in north carolina is very yeah. different like the lifestyle yeah. like yeah it's a lot more expensive like, living here mm-hmm. and like i was like oh if i go to north carolina i could have a nice house nice yard all this stuff and then playlists happen. Mm. And then I met uh, this girl named Ronnie. Ah. So if you have this one, met yeah, this Ronnie. okay, not another this one. one, not the other one. Okay, you would have moved one? if hmm? you haven't met Ronnie. I think I would have moved. Whoa. I think I would have been like, huh? Let's go back. Did you? Were you? Because you were a pharmacist in North Carolina. Then I asked oh, you to move here. Pharma- move in with me. Pharmacy technician. Pharmacy, pharmacy technician. Sorry. <laughs> and then did you? Did, weren't you a pharmacy technician here for a little bit? No. So I was supposed to work at Kaiser and cvs i had applied for both of those positions and i got both of them yeah but youtube started i thought doing... you were doing par- or pharmacy stuff a little bit while you're here Mm-mm. youtube had a boot so what happened was i was filming like random content i didn't really know what i wanted to do and then you started your vlog channel yeah and then i was like being around you so much i was like oh let me kind of like adapt that because when i was making videos i was like oh i have to be this certain way i have yeah. to do certain thing but with you you would literally wake up and just be like, what it is, what it be, <laughs> yeah. what it do though. But you weren't like doing it. You were just being yourself yeah. and just vlogging. And I was like, let me try that. And then when I just started being myself and stopped trying to be like this persona I felt like I needed to be, yeah, mm-hmm. everything did better. Oh, and yeah. then I was like, oh, YouTube's paying more now. And I was like, maybe if I focus more on this. And then remember we did daily vlogs for yeah, years. For years. That's yeah. insane. We did it for a very And we were editing long ourselves time. too. We old guys are wild. Hang up at night, editing until like 3 a.m., and then post it. Yeah, it was rough. But yeah, but now I'm here. That yeah. was that 20s energy. 
It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I always tell Ronnie, I was like, if YouTube and social media were to stop, I'd probably do something in like the medical field or pharmacy or something. Yeah. So where would we all be? Question: If YouTube wasn't a thing, we'd still I, be in North Carolina. Right? Yeah, doing what? What's it? What I'll be a waiter at Texas Roadhouse. Just no, line wouldn't. dancing. I don't know. I like to be a waiter. I don't know. Maybe Even real. Now, maybe think? realty, realtor. Because I feel like um, I like to talk. Yeah. So That's maybe that, or I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably be a computer scientist. Yeah, programming. Probably working at the hospital or pharmacy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd probably be trying acting. Mm. Or uh, mm. I went to school for screenwriting, but I would have probably done a different major and done broadcast journalism. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Mm. Nice. I feel like I could have been a lives. good weather girl. There's a cold front coming from the west to the east. That's <laughs> good. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> Imagine our lives, back, man. Each back. decision would have made another, <laughs> caused another uh, ripple. Yeah. In I our feel time. like yeah. if mm-hmm. YouTube didn't happen, you guys wouldn't have got met. No. Ever. No. Mm-hmm. We wouldn't have moved here, ever. We would not have moved here. You guys wouldn't have met. I think yeah. we all would have been married. If oh, we would have yeah. stayed oh, in North yeah. Carolina. We all would have had kids and been married if we stayed in North yeah. Carolina. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's just what it is over there. Yeah. Nothing yeah. wrong with that, but... No, yeah. No. It's just, that's, yeah. It's just, uh, it's just a different pacing there. We People were talking... More settled earlier. Me and Roy have mentioned before, we all, uh, we all thought we were going to be married and have kids by, like, in our 20s. Same. And now you're 35? I'm 34 and in, in uh, oh this week like, you th- I was gonna age, say 34 bro. and then I was like wait I turned 35 this week. I'm 34 this oh, week happy birthday. Oh, oh happy birthday oh happy birthday Alex thank you happy birthday Alex what do you want for your birthday <sighs> um I don't, whatever you guys want to give me it's fine you don't have to give me anything just your presence is enough. that means please give me something um I don't want to tell you yeah he's like That's the hardest person to shop for well, That's I already told you me. both things I needed I told you and I told you you didn't tell me what did you tell me again. Oh, oh my my I, I have this old laptop from like eight years ago. It finally is passing away. And uh I had a new one like five years ago, didn't like it, gave it a mat. And so then I kept using my old one and I should have used the new one. <laughs> that's what I need. And then uh I lost my vlog camera. I want to start vlogging again eventually, so I needed that. So maybe you can get the tripod and you can get the mic. I don't know. See, he does know what he wants. He does. Usually he like, doesn't. <laughs> I, you guys are acting like I haven't told you this. I told yeah, you yeah, this yeah. before I this forgot. podcast. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you acting like that, though? You're like, yeah. what do you want for your birthday? I don't know. I'm, you don't got to give me anything. But there's a vlogging camera <laughs> that I want. There's a tripod. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to bring that bring back the what it is what it be what it do though? I think so, maybe. You still got it in you. We we uh I I don't know about the daily vlogs might be hard, but I do want to start daily vlogging again at least for December. Mm-hmm. And then uh uh yeah, figure that out. But we we kept the if you're not smiling you're doing it wrong, but we changed it to so now it's like if you're not a member you're doing it wrong. Hey guys, oh. be a member so we can get Alex's birthday gifts. Yeah, yeah those are expensive. Be a gifts. member for my expensive. birthday. That's what I want for that my birthday. Expensive. Become a member. Yeah. <laughs> on Wasabi or here? On everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you everywhere. guys are trying to get super birthday and then comment and be like, Al- this is for Alex's birthday. I'll be like, oh. Yeah. Alex also said, he, uh, go to Spotify and rate us five stars. That'll be a great birthday. Yeah. Gift. Thank oh. you. Oh, oh, you guys are so sweet. Where else is the podcast, or is it just Spotify? Oh, it's Apple. Apple, Spotify oh. at 5 a.m. every Monday, mm. and then on the YouTube channel, you can watch the visual video, 2 p.m. every Monday. Oh, so nice. for a- Alex's birthday, just like everything, five star yeah. everything. Just, that's what you do. Go <laughs> through our entire gift. Spotify and YouTube. They just like everything. That'll oh, be yeah. a good birthday. Gift. Also, get him a seahorse because apparently he wants to be one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? I've what? never been constipated in my entire life. I've never gone more than one day without pooping. Uh, morning and nighttime is usually my schedule. What you? Morning and then midday. What you? At least once a day. On a bad day, mm, three. <laughs> <laughs> it can be bad. That's crazy. Wait, so, Aaron, you said midday. Yeah. In you the don't middle? poop like before you go to sleep. No. What? Do you, do you poop before you go to I sleep? I know. Mine's morning. A lot of morning. Morning poop oh, always. And then probably around like four or five. That's like oh, midday-ish. Wow. Right? Mine's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mine's usually morning night. Like clean before bed. I wish before. I could. Yeah. If, I, if you could poop before you go to bed, I feel like I'd sleep better. Yeah, you should. You should try. You I'll, try. I'll hold it next time. All right, anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, have you guys ever been constipated, though? Probably. Like, or it's yeah. been, you needed medicine for it? You know, no, not yes. medicine. No. Yeah. I, but, I ha- I've been constipated once, and then Aaron made me take the Pepto-Bismol, and I've never had it before. 
and then it was just like weird because like my it was all like a different color i was like what is happening tmi TMI. TMI. but like i yeah so yeah (laughs) <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. Yeah, it makes it black. It makes it black. Really? Yeah, Pepto-Bismol pe- makes it black. What? That. But it's pink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pink and brown <laughs> equals black? What? Just what try. Just take Pepto-Bismol and then it's going to be black. I am. Right after this podcast. <laughs> it's black. That's crazy. I do like it when it's different colors. I don't know why. I like whenever I have a blue get here and I'm like, nice. I'm excited for my next move, my bowel movement. How Wait, whatever corn? what? Uh-huh. You drink blue Gatorade, it makes it green. I did not know that. Yeah. I know when you eat blue ice cream, it goes green. If you, I think if you eat a bunch of uh, carrots, it makes it like red. If you eat red velvet, it makes it really red. Yeah. Wow, I'm about to have a rainbow tonight. I'm about to eat all <laughs> these things. Hey, that's your next video idea. <laughs> It's don't do that. Don't so do that video. Flagged. Don't yeah, do that super video. flagged. <laughs> uh, okay, so now that we got that out of the way, Ronnie, how did you start in YouTube? Mm. So uh, I'll make it. I'll try and make it short. It probably won't be. Um, my sister and I. I'm a twin. No one <gasps> what? <knew> really? <laughs> I'm an identical twin. <laughs> Me and my sister. We really wanted to pursue acting, and we had an opportunity to come out to California. We basically auditioned for like Nickelodeon, Disney. Um, and all, that. and all yeah all of those channels you, you audition for all that no not all oh, that okay, no okay. <laughs> i meant even like all of that we should um, touch on that too have you guys watched that yeah okay I we'll did. talk about it later which makes me low-key thankful that nothing ever really mm-hmm. happened with nickelodeon yeah nickelodeon and a disney channel um but it was really discouraging because we were like what 15 14 and we mm. were told that we're too old mm. to be filming and stuff yeah and so um after that we just kept going on auditions and we kept hearing um the feedback was you guys are okay you're good but you don't have experience mm. and so we're like how are we gonna get experience if we're not booking the experience yeah i think 15 is a is the age because they want to get you when you're like 10 to 12 because then you're not gonna hit puberty 15 you're about to hit puberty so yeah. they can't like that you could change so mm. they right. want to like grow with you but you're older I puberty starts yeah. at 12 no i think it does but you like super like start having growth spurts and stuff oh mm-hmm. 15 and, yeah right. so so yeah that was very discouraging but then we were like we had some youtube videos up there and it was like stuff that we did for fun yeah. my sister and i like filmed a lot of home videos we never posted those because my dad's a video editor and producer he we told him we want to post to youtube and he was like well let me help you i can make something we can make something good mm-hmm. and we did a skit so that was on there and anyway no experience how are you going to get the experience we were like well let's let's make our online resume be YouTube and mm. we'll just put our experience on YouTube. And so we started doing skits, songs, challenges, our personalities, just everything on there and it just kind of grew from there. Mm-hmm. So did you guys grow consistently a little bit? I mean, slowly or was slowly. it like a big bang? It was very slow. There wasn't one big video? No, it, it would gradually get views over time. Never had like a super viral, viral video. What about yeah. the smoothie challenge? You guys always told me that was like your big... That one has a lot of views, that was like your first but big, that big video. didn't go like viral. I mean, what was considered viral back in 2013? Even like five million back then, it was like viral. See, it wasn't. It only it just a hit million. a million. Well, a million, I feel like. What was, was like the moment? Then. What was the moment where you're like, oh, whoa, this is this something's happening? Um, my mom was working a middle school job, and when we started making more than her, oh, that was when we were like, whoa. Oh, what yeah. year was this? Do you remember? I was in high school, probably like. 2014 oh wow oh wow that's when we moved to los angeles yeah that's when we moved here yeah yeah so that was it was a big eye opener and like even my my sister my dad we were all like we gotta go full out on this now (laughs) so did you were you living in los angeles at the time uh yeah when did you move to la because you're from i'm from kansas Kansas city City, missouri Mm -hmm. i moved in 2013 oh wow so yeah 16 i was sophomore halfway through my sophomore year of high school i went to independent study school i went to school i kind of love bragging about this he doesn't know this i went to school with um a bunch of disney actors i went to school with zendaya bella thorne whoa um all the cast from Shake It Up, um, Jesse cast. It was mm. crazy. Like, Shake It Up Karin, was, Cameron I think it was like, uh, Zendaya and, uh, yeah. I graduated Bella with her. But Shake It Up was a little bit after my time on watching <laughs> Disney and Nickelodeon. Right. Yeah. It's insane. It was after my time. So I was like, what show is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did a movie with Bella Thorne. 
You did. What? I was in the Duff. Her movie? Oh, you were yeah. in the Duff? Yeah. I did press for the Duff. That's weird. Oh, oh that's weird. Oh, wow. Another like, time we missed each other. Yeah, Whoa. like we, we did like, you know, those things where they interview the cast. Yeah. And then we put it like on our channel. Me and like Roy were both like in that. the Duff. But no, you weren't. <laughs> no, we were, yeah. But, yeah. but uh, they had another YouTuber that they, uh, I randomly got paired with her. He got paired with an extra and they ended up cutting Roy C. Yeah, <laughs> no. Oh. I'm like, oh, I'm man. I'm in it for like one second. Yeah. But uh, I remember the first time that Bella Thorne, she was uh, she was just a very sexual person. What do you mean? You she was very different in high school. She's she very was... sexual. I don't know. Well, I met her and uh, there. Uh, I think the director was like, "Oh, Alex, this is Bella." I was like, "Oh, hey, Bella," and she was like, "Hey, what's up?" And I was like, "What's up?" And then uh, she was like. Uh, what are you? I was like, oh, I'm just like uh, doing a cameo in the movie. She's like, cool. And she's like, I have this cool thing I can pop my chest. And I was like, what? And she's like, here, feel it. And she grabbed my hand and she put it on her sternum and she started like p- like popping that the sternum. And I was like, whoa, that, I, look, I was still new. So I was yeah. like, oh, it's Bella Thorne. I'm touching her sternum. That's weird. Oh but we met, God. who else did we meet? We met uh, Ken Jong. Ken Jong was cool. That was cool. He just felt more of an uncle. Yeah. Like, I'm Aww. Ken. How you doing? Yeah. All right. And then who, uh, that's where I met Robbie. Amel, I don't know if mm-hmm. that's how you say his name. Yeah. And then I saw Upload. Have you ever wa- have you guys ever watched Upload? I couldn't no. get into it. Oh, it's so good. And I I loved it so much and I was like, "Oh, that's that guy that was in that movie all these years ago." And I DM'd <laughs> him and I was like, "Yo, I I don't mean to fangirl, but Upload is my favorite show right now. It is so good. It, you guys give it another shot cuz you just got to get into it. It's so good and it's so out there. I love it. It's so good. And he said, thanks, bro. Like, that means a lot. And I was like, nice. Is Upload. it like Scrub? Like, what's it like? What's another show it's like that, you know, I like? Like, How uh, My Mother Scrubs? Yeah. Okay, so it's about this futuristic place. Mm. And it's about uh, you can, before you die, you can have your uh, conscious uploaded digitally. Mm. Whoa. And then instead of just dying, then you have your upload, uh, uh, you can upload to a retirement home for these digital uh consciousness yeah. so you can go there and your family can come visit you and they'll they'll like put a bodysuit on and they can come visit you and then all that and so you're still there uh but yeah that's it and it, it's so cool got it it's kind of like a i don't know if you've seen black mirror the san junipero episode yeah it's kind of the same thing yeah but it's People. like a comedy slash drama mm-hmm. like it's like a cool it's like a lot of plot in it but then also it's kind of funny what were we talking about i don't know I'm, uh, I'm i went to I school with yes Duff. Sorry, yes. I went yeah. to school with uh, Disney actors. I also went to school with um, Olympians. Oh, um, mm. Gabby Douglas like Hercules? and Michaela oh, Maroney. Nice. When oh. we graduated, Gabby Douglas walked on the stage. And because the school was connected to a public high school, but it was like it, its own thing. Mm-hmm. So we graduated with all these other random students. Whoa. And so when Gabby Douglas went on stage, everyone was like, USA, USA. <laughs> she was like, ah. <laughs> um, But yeah, so I did high school here. I went to college. I pursued college and YouTube at the same time. It was mm. crazy. It was really hard. Did you graduate? Same, same. I did not graduate. Ah. I was part time for four years, and that, my sister and I were just like, we can't do this anymore. Yeah. It was really hard. We were getting asked to travel. We got oh. asked to go to the Philippines, mm-hmm. like Indonesia. It was so. It was so crazy. Um, but you guys yeah. haven't been to the Philippines together, right? We have no. not. Oh, me and Alexis are down, and Roy Manette probably. Oh yeah, Philippines. We could do go. a group Philippines Let's do it. trip. And the only expensive thing is the flight, and then yeah. we yeah. can all get an Airbnb for cheap, a nice one. Usually, like if you get like even semi nice, uh, like place that comes with a butler. Yeah, <laughs> no fun. way. Yeah, and then they have like masseuses for like five dollars. What? I had a masseuse come to my hotel room one time for five dollars, and in pesos, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then afterwards, I tipped her the same amount, which was five dollars American, and she cried. And that's how like cheap everything is over there. Like a two dollar Coke can here is like twenty five cents over there. Just don't go between the month of June through August because oh, we hot. went there in July Rainy. one time. It was flooded. Yeah. No, like, way. it's a rainy season like half the year. Yeah, mm. like the province that my parents are from, we visited, mm. flooded. Like yeah. the house, like the first floor of like every house was flooded. And I have uh, some bodyguards that I use every time I go there. So uh, AJ, no, what's her Jr. Name? JR. And- yeah, Charles. I met them. Charles, Charles. Oh, yeah. They're awesome, right? Yeah. I use so them. Nice. Even when I went to go back to visit my parents and my mom's family, I, I, I brought them to Angela City. I was like, hey, can you protect us? He's like, okay. They oh. were so cool. They're, they're the best. That's awesome. Okay, so then you got to YouTube. You quit college. You got to YouTube. Mm-hmm. 
And now you guys just focus on that. Yeah, we were trying to pursue acting. We did uh, get a role in Jane the Virgin. Oh, yeah. Oh. I was 18. Literally right as we turned 18, we booked that. Mm -hmm. And then booked several other things. And it's just really hard. I don't know if you guys ever wanted to pursue acting in this industry, mm -hmm. being YouTubers. But I feel like they just don't understand the youtube world traditional media it's been really hard for me and my sister to pitch a show mm -hmm. to get people on board like we literally have the like, analytics of our audience and like how many people can watch the show and and they're just like mm. is it still hard because it was harder back then because they didn't understand they saw like even on set whenever mm -hmm. i did a cameo or something you could tell the actors didn't see youtubers as the same level they still is don't. it still it's like still, that yeah, it's I still hard. i think it's better but it's still like it's that, a little yeah. better but it's still hard we just like our last attempt was like two years ago and we tried pitching a show to a production company that would go and pitch it out and then they wanted to completely rewrite our script that we wrote just like change it and then they told us well you may not even get to star in it if someone picks it up and you may not yeah. even get the credit on it so it's yeah. like, what? The disrespect? That it's sounds, just hard. Sounds similar mm -hmm. to the, uh, the, uh, what's Zach and Cody's real name? Uh, uh, Zach and Cody. Is that really their <laughs> name? Yeah. No, no wait. No, Cole no. Sprouse. Dylan, Cole Sprouse. Shut up. Dylan, Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Dylan and Cole Sprouse. <laughs> Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For a second, I, was I like, remember. Was a, look at you. I know, I know. I thought it was the same. Like Drake and Josh, <laughs> oh, same no thing. Way. Zach and Cody. Why no, would they no, not no. use their real names? Uh, I remember. <laughs> uh, I, I read an article or saw a video or something about them. They tried to pitch a show after Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, and they're like, "Oh, how about this? Like we." we become mentors to somebody else that lives in the hotel and then they said no no and then they ended up stealing the idea from them and trying not to give credit and then they were like what no way. yeah they were like they is a spin-off how to keep the story going without them but then disney said no and then they pitched the same idea back to them and i was like hey what about this and they're like that's our that's what we told you guys mm -hmm. So that's uh, probably... It's, dude, it's entertainment rough. industry is dark. Man. Yeah. It is. It really is. Especially that the documentary. <sighs> I know. You guys watched all of it? No, I watched I it. Watched uh, it. Uh, that's that's crazy. crazy. So that, I, I thought it was all about Drake's situation. Then I mm. watched it. It was about Dan mostly. And I was mm. like, oh. And like other people that they mm. hired. Yeah. That was sketchy. Like terrible, terrible, yeah. terrible things. And it also kind of makes me wonder like... You know, all the things that happen with YouTubers. Like, did you see that what? mom, the vlog mom? No. What? Vlogging her kids who oh, went to jail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was neglecting see, them. Yeah. People are, there are awful people out there. Like, how do we fix that? How do we, how do we, how does, how does it get better? You don't, you uh, do what you do, do what you love and make people laugh and smile. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they have a good, positive life. That's the I, most I had you can something. Do. I probably can't talk about it. What? What, what do you mean? You in talking? the same realm of Nickelodeon? You did uh, something happened to you? Yeah. On YouTube? No, no. Oh, wait. Uh, I, uh, oh, wait, are we wait. talking about Yeah, yeah, when you picked in me up. Industry? No, or? remember when you picked me up that one time on the street? Oh, and yeah. I just called you. I was like, "Come get me, hurry." Yeah. What happened? I don't think we could talk about it. I, don't, I wouldn't talk about that one. I don't think we should talk, don't about, talk about that one. It was just an instance that almost happened and then uh it uh it was just I was young. It was yeah. was this like what? Like, so post, just, post, well, well, just okay. I'll, I'll, okay, okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm not gonna say everything, but yeah. we were all hanging out at the pool. Yeah. And Alex really liked swimming, so he stayed longer than everyone else. I went home, and then I get a phone call saying, "Hey, come pick me up now. Pick me up now." And I was like, "What's wrong?" He's like, "Pick me up now." And he was like, "Where?" I was like, like "Just go. Just go down the street." And then he he found me on the street, and I was crying and screaming, and like, <laughs> and then I was like, "There he is. Go get him." And then we chased him. But that's all. Yeah, yeah, that's all we'll talk about. Okay, we can't yeah. talk about it. We can't talk about it. We're, maybe whatever in the future. happened, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Sure. It's I, okay. I didn't even know this. That's thing. crazy. Yeah. You just can't mm -hmm. trust people. Yeah. That's it, terrible. It was just out of nowhere. It was crazy. Oh, so, man. back to love, right? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's back a crazy. to a lighter topic. Yeah, a lighter yeah. topic. Um, so, we've heard your journeys on YouTube, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how you guys met. Yes. And then how was how long were you dating before you got married? Four years. That's it? I thought it was longer than that. Mm -mm. It was four, four years. years. Oh, I'm thinking about you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> how long were you and Monette together? Like eight. That's before a long time. we got time. engaged and then nine. Yeah. That's awesome. Just because she went to school and then she went to school again for another four. So I didn't want to stress her out with the engagement mm -hmm. during school because it's a lot. Yeah. It is. So. And you've been together 10 years? 
10 years. Yeah. That's yeah. insane to say that you've been with someone for 10 years. I yeah. can't wait to say that. Yeah, this is our anniversary actually next Monday, which is why. That's your one year? One year. Has so it then, been one year? So since? then it's you've been, been together year. for nine years then? Because if you got if you were together for eight and you got married and it's been one year. Oh, you were engaged for a year? Yeah. Ah, yeah. yes, yes. Ten years. Engagement yeah. is a lot longer than you'd expect it to be. Like after you propose, I was like, we'll get proposed, then get married. But it's like you have to like do all this prep and well, you'll you'll learn about. Oh it yeah, soon. you're the only one you'll, not you'll married here. Huh? <laughs> I'm coming, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah. You better. Yeah, because a lot of have kids together. Than people like make it out engagement. To like just the whole process of the wedding, getting everything situated. I, don't I didn't know, know engagement. Yeah. Engagement is basically just prepping the wedding. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. prepping the giant party. How long was your guys' engagement? A year? I think two. Yeah. Two? I, I, guess, I don't, I don't sure. know what Aaron's talking about because we were engaged for four months. Well, okay, wait. <laughs> before <laughs> before, before right? the courthouse wedding. And then we had, I was talking about the big one. Because remember how stressful the big we wedding We were guy? married during we that time. We were married, but it felt... <laughs> yeah, but right. getting ready. So if you mm-hmm, take mm-hmm. out the, the court wedding from engagement mm-hmm. to right. the to public... Or like, it's a full year. That's a year. Oh, a little yeah. over that's a year. year. Yeah. But like yeah. that was like, even though we were married, that was still... We had like people crying. They were like getting stressed out and all this stuff. And I was like, we're already married. This is just supposed to be kind of like a party, but it's just like, yeah. So (sighs) when you first started dating, how come it was a secret? Mm. I didn't even know it was a secret. <laughs> yeah, they didn't they tell. They didn't a, a, make it official. It was pretty obvious, oh. but was they didn't make it obvious. official until like years oh. later. Yeah. Um, for me, I so I was twenty one, mm-hmm. and I had already posted about like ex boyfriends, and you know, broke up with them, and it was just it was just a lot to deal with, social media wise and comment wise. Yeah. Um, and I didn't want to go through that again. Not mm-hmm. saying that we had the potential to break up. I just didn't want outside voices affecting mm-hmm. my mm-hmm. relationship with Aaron, especially because it 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 did it does it did. Mm-hmm. There would be there'd be times where like we weren't even public about it, and there were times where people would tweet me saying, "Oh my gosh, your ex, Aaron's ex is so much better than you. Stop hanging Whoa, out with him." What? Yeah, I, I got I got that those kind of comments. I don't remember that. So part of me was just it's just privacy and just keeping it as private as we could knowing he was a full-time vlogger it was kind of hard to maneuver that but that's essentially why i wanted to protect our relationship was from Mm -hmm. the comments and people's opinions and um because 21 think about when you're 21 that's that's still very young i was so young and i i knew that it would affect me and i didn't want that for us Mm -hmm. you on the other hand didn't really care about comments (laughs) i think it's because i was older and I don't know, but it was kind of nice having things separated. It was hard, mm-hmm. especially when I vlogged and you were vlogging. Yeah, I had to cut out things. Of like, oh, sorry. Or I think <laughs> or, sometimes I would like leave something in there and you guys did like kissed or something in the background. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And, and then <laughs> you're like, like can you please take it down? It's I was okay. like, yeah, I'll take it down. Yeah. Yeah. It would even get to the point where like Aaron and I would be in public and People someone would, would screenshot us kissing or like, hugging far away. Stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was crazy. Um... Yeah. Or even that's when, so... uh, should I? What? So I did this short with um, this other YouTuber, and she went live at one point. And in, in the series, we have to kiss. And me and Ronnie are together. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> she didn't like it? No, no, no. She, she was like, it's just kind of, it was like nothing wrong with the kissing part. It's just awkward because he has a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And everyone's like, what? Because it uh, And then I was like, hey, can you? She's like, oh, I forgot it's a secret. And then she took it down. Mm. Yeah. So it was kind of hard yeah. that way. But um, how do you guys deal with that? Have you ever had to kiss somebody in a role while you guys were together? Not publicly, but in acting class. Yeah. When we were together. And no, just, it was just, I'm just going to be honest, I didn't watch that when he kissed someone else. Yeah. I just didn't want to see it. I but I was the, there. I went to the little screening of yeah. it. I was there to support. Mm. She's just just like don't this. want that image in my mind. <laughs> yeah, Alexis had to kiss uh, a guy in the last movie she's finishing mm-hmm. up, and she had to kiss him like yep. probably like five times or like five days mm-hmm. of just like different shot of like kiss, kiss, kiss. And she would always let me know, and I was like, yeah, that's okay, it's just a job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, we'll yeah. see if I ever have to get a role, and we'll see how you react. Because yeah. I feel like <laughs> girls are more like, hey! <laughs> like, yeah. Or like, yeah, it's- they just don't. It's hard because, you know, some people see it truly as a job and Mm -hmm. then some people see it as cheating. Mm -hmm. Like you're 
physically kissing someone. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're if that's part of your job, you mm-hmm. should know that before you get into it. Like right. I knew that. We're all in that industry. If like yeah, yeah. we it's understandable. Yeah. If, if acting was new after we were dating, then I'd be like, oh, okay. But when I met you, you were an actress. Yeah. Like you and this have always been actresses, yeah. and I was like, I get that that comes with the territory. Yeah, I think it was hard. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think watching, I mean, the, it was hard because it was someone we all know. Yeah. So that. Can we say who it was? Yeah, I mean, the series is out there. Yeah, who is it? Sure. It was Ava Gutowski. He had a oh, kiss what her. is she doing? I haven't heard I her name in forever. But she, she was so she, cool to work with. She's in New York. With. She's killing it. She's doing what? She's doing Social media? I think she's, she does a lot of yeah. film pictures. I look at her film pictures a lot. Yeah, like, her, she she's doing great. But mm-hmm. because like I knew I knew her, it was just hard. I couldn't yeah. watch mm. it. But it was really cool because I... But I was there. Yeah. <laughs> I was there to support. But I, I still want to watch. As soon as I let her know, she was like, oh. And she was like really nice about it. Yeah. And like, mm-hmm. she, she that's how I would imagine she would react. Yeah. She was really cool. But... Having to talk to you sometimes about, what? like, hey, can you take that down? You're like, oh, crap. Uh, yeah. It was just, it was like, hard. I was so, like, post every day, post every day. So if right. I had to take it down, I was like, oh, I have to miss a day. Yeah. And I would, but I wouldn't, I would be sad, but I would do it. So how much longer, like, when did you, like, start, like, showing each other online? I mean, well, because I was always in his videos anyway. Yeah. The people who friends. knew. Yeah. People who knew, best they caught friend. on. Yeah. But then, you'd be surprised, there were people who didn't know. Had no idea. Had no idea. I didn't know. There's still people to this, <laughs> there's still people to this day that don't know that Roy's Rolanda. Yeah. No. Yeah. They're like, what? what? <laughs> that's good that's just good acting yeah there you go good. a good they transformation did, yeah they didn't know richard and uh Rolanda. they thought they were friends of ours no no they did not yeah, they no, did. no, no i promise people I, we still get comments today saying they're still shocked they just found out mm-hmm. yeah what? you guys are good actors i guess yeah, yeah. they are completely different from us they are yeah. but when we posted remember when we posted the proposal yep. you guys engagement pro- no no Girlfriend, oh. engagement, and marriage all in one week, right? Three days, back to back, back. Yeah. Dude, I was like, dang, they're moving quick. And I was like, let's just get it out there. <laughs> They've waited long enough. Because we were like, we were dancing around the idea of still keeping it kind of private yeah. after Even we got after married. marriage. But what? then we were like, there's just there's no, no way. way. Yeah. I was like, there's no I way. Live together. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, Ronnie's there People again. She's in the background. And yeah. so now we're pretty public. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. we're still private about Ron Ron family and... channel yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ron Ron family. How's One that day? going? Like uh, being public in the eye. I know that's a lot. Is it easier? Balls. Is it harder? It's so it... easy. I feel like because we've been together so long that anything anyone throws at us, we're like, it's just a comment. Versus back yeah. when we first started dating, they four could be years like, of being right. like s- careful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that right. sucks. I think also something else I want to add about another reason why we kept it private mm. is. I just didn't want to use each other for views and stuff. Oh, yeah. Because we knew that that stuff would do really well Mm because people wanted it. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, "Mm." no, I I remember I had a conversation one time with a YouTuber at a event and he was like, why aren't you posting with him? Think about the views. And I was like, oh, that just makes me feel really bad. I've I've told you about that. It's okay. Um, But yeah, so now that we're married... It doesn't okay. matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But when we posted the proposal video, we were like, are people going to, like, I feel like people know. Like, it's pretty obvious that we're together. Mm-hmm. And we posted it. We posted it back. And then we were, like, trending. And I was like. All three videos ha- trended. Have it was you, crazy. Do uh, you have any stories about being used in the past? Yeah. You don't what? have to say names, but you can tell the situation if you want. Um, Not so much. Yeah. Used, but also, like, um kind of made fun of what? by like my this guy i was dating his friends it was weird hmm. who it was weird we'll go find him and beat no, him up no it's okay it was just weird alex is and a boxer then, you can take him on and then like ah uh, this has happened to both me and my sister like they would create youtube channels mm-hmm. after seeing us uh. do it and then be like hey uh. what do i do and then it's just like you know we've had some bad history with yeah. people online and it's just like after those experiences and being so young experiencing all of that you just want to protect it yeah. mm-hmm. you don't yeah. want to go through that publicly i don't i never want to do it ever again so so yeah. how are you guys gonna uh when you eventually have kids are you gonna we're gonna wait until they're 18. to put them on camera <laughs> Whoa. i mean there are some i've heard some bloggers they just don't they show them like interacting but they don't show the baby they only show their angle but i think, know i don't really know how to approach that yeah. Because Aaron does daily vlog. I know how I'm going to approach it mm-hmm. with me and my sister on my channel. Huh. And like when they're a bit older, maybe have them in like a challenge with us. 
think you know how Kylie Jenner did a challenge with Stormy, like yeah. a cooking thing. Like that yeah. was so cute, but not like anything that focuses around their personality and like mm-hmm. who they are. And yeah, just kind of something like that. I feel like that's a bit more tasteful. Mm-hmm. Um, but everyday vlogs. I don't know. No, I, I like I watch like a lot of vlogs. I try to keep like up to date with like different people how they vlog and stuff. Yeah. And there's a couple of family channels who do a really good job of not focusing on the kids, but the kids are still there. Yeah, if that yeah. makes sense. I think it's also cool because like when we were young, yeah. we don't have any videos, any pictures, any mm-hmm. any like because we didn't have much money. So mm-hmm. the only video we have of us when we we're young is the blockbuster identity kid video, where like mm-hmm. they used to have this thing at blockbuster a lot of people don't even know what blockbuster is anymore <laughs> we'd go there and then they would film you ask you your favorite color how tall you are how old you are just so if you ever go missing they have mm-hmm. this reference video oh, so that's yeah. the only video we have so i've always wanted to document uh my family my mm-hmm. kids and like show them when they were young and like even when they're baby babies uh it would be cool yeah. you still have that yeah. footage yeah, yeah, yeah oh, we have wow. both of them yeah, yeah we have both should, of ours yeah, yeah i'm like they're like how old are you i was like hmm three what's your favorite color <laughs> red you did and then they're red. like what do you like to do yeah. i was like my my bataku <laughs> like the best part is is that like they don't only get to see themselves as kids they, they get to see us at a younger age yeah too. like you guys yeah. started filming when you were 15 how old yeah, are you guys uh, 13, 13 yeah 14 13 so imagine yeah. your 13 year old imagine you could see dad when he was 13 yeah that would like be what awesome he was like, oh, like yeah. i do the series uh dear future kids where yeah. they can like be like oh this is what i've learned then mm-hmm. we actually thing. just did a podcast with alexis and then we were watching the first draft before we we're giving notes mm-hmm. and i was like this is so cool because in 20 years we're not gonna remember a lot of this or we'll remember it wrong mm-hmm. and not only will we be able to go back and be like oh yeah oh yeah mm-hmm. our kids will be able to see us talking before we're married and about our whole lives and it's all on one episode so that's why i love yeah. this podcast and oh uh, it's so cool you're and, so right you know sure. when your parents try to give you advice yeah when you're a kid you're like oh you don't understand me you don't know what my life is like yeah they can actually go back and see you at their age and be like, oh, you actually were just like me. You yeah, were you guys like can doing... show your kids this yeah. podcast. It's and they're crazy. like, yeah. look at Hello, this. Kids. Hey, dear future kids. And they're like, what's Nickelodeon? But don't don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, uh, we'll explain uh, it later. Yeah. <laughs> when you're older. The yeah. cool thing is that Ronnie has so many videos of her as a kid. Yeah. I do. Because my dad younger. was and my dad was a video editor producer. Mm-hmm. He had like yeah. really high quality cameras that he would just test on me and Nessa. Mm-hmm. And um there's a really cute video of us playing in the backyard and it's just so sweet and wholesome and I can look back and be like, That's how we were Aww. like like oh that's so cute. When we were kids, the only like handheld cameras were the big ones. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't even have mm-hmm. the little flip out ones, they had the giant ones still. Yeah. Yeah. He, had, though, right? he, he had one of those. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He got to bring home from work and he's filming us and mm-hmm. it's yeah. crazy i think for me and monette i think we'll keep the kid private just because yeah. you know yeah. well i mean we'll film a lot but we'll just store it all in private and watch it privately yeah that what way. about like uh instagram you're not gonna post stories you're not gonna post no nope. no nothing no nope. i think uh casey neistat does a really good job on it he, he just never shows, shows? no mm-hmm. just shows never like the shows. back of their head or oh the really he does like silhouettes of him and yeah. the kid and stuff oh what and the yeah that's crazy so you're crazy, not gonna man. post stories people or pictures crazy. of them at all on your like with the family pictures and stuff oh yeah we'll see what I about mean, like christmas cards yeah for sure yeah, yeah just yeah. not like on the hair is my child mm-hmm. <laughs> like yeah. yeah i mean I don't know. It's touchy. It's, it's social media is crazy. So I really imagine what it's gonna yeah. be like in like a couple of years too. I feel like bad for Monette. Changing. Why? When she has that baby, she that baby's gonna have a big ass head like you. <gasps> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the the birthing part. She's yeah. gonna like damn you. We, we, we talked about it because we both have like really big heads and like really thick hair. So our yeah. baby's gonna be a big ass. Oh, I mean, big headed, hairy baby. <laughs> Mine don't too. Our hairy. Or like Were you thick hair? Hair. Like, thick you have hair? Oh, I think you yeah, meant like yeah. shoulder hair. I saw a baby come out one time and had so much hair on the back and shoulders. Oh, That's common. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's oh. not. It's, and then it, it goes away. But like, I was like, oh, it hurt, yeah. baby. He, like, he built himself a little sweater <laughs> in the nail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, oh, there's something else I was going to say. Mm, baby. Private. Baby. Big head. Big head. Ronnie makes that joke about us all oh, the time. Oh, we have a big head. I have a big head too, so I feel bad for Alexis. But Aaron, he was the one that had to have a C-section because he was so big. My mom's like five one. Why well, you gotta throw him under the bus? <laughs> no, it's, it's true. true. She, she talks about like, it. She had me true. and Mariah, no problem. Then Aaron Whoa. had to have. A, she was like, Aaron, you look like Tweety Bird as a baby. Yeah, he had a big Whoa. head. Yeah. Aaron was ten pounds. 
premature. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Those babies are gonna be basketball. So players. if you weren't premature, <laughs> if you weren't premature, you might have been like six six. Oh, oh that'd be is that how it works? I don't know because like know. he just didn't get the. Like just like incubates a bit more. In the <laughs> he would have started like probably would have been born heavier. Well, I don't know. I I listened to your podcast about eating mm. and like how big you get. Mm. I think that's kind of true because when we were so younger, too. I used to just because grandma and grandpa would call me a trash disposal, and like I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep eating this. So you were like, fat, boom, 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 and then boom, and boom. then he had a growth spurt, and he got super skinny, and then he got fat again, and then I got tall <laughs> again. I had two growth spurts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got he, he stretched out because it was cool to see because like he was always my like big brother. <laughs> see, and then, I told you, and then she didn't got, believe I was big. No, I've he, seen photos. And then I was big, right? not that big. She did not believe it I was big. It was pretty big. T-shirts and stuff hide. Yeah, stuff. he was the he was the kid with the shirt at, at the pool. I was Chubbs, and then he I didn't stretched wear a shirt out. At the pool. Uh, sometimes, oh, I did one time. And then, uh, uh, brothers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there was a girl there. I didn't want to wear a t-shirt. And then, uh, <laughs> what? He said, "Girl, how dare you not think about your future?" <laughs> I was wife. a child. <laughs> so, oh yeah, you're gonna have some big kids probably. Oh. Yeah, I'm prepared for yeah. it. She wants twins. You no, want twins? Uh, I think it'd be so Wait, fun. Wait, twins run in your family too? No, not really. Wait, just, really? I, I well, you're a twin. Yeah, I am a twin, twin, but I learned something new. Um, I, I think learned. Alex knows this. What? what? Wait, you want to say your fact first or I say my fact first? You oh, say yours first. I'm talking about okay. pregnancy. Yeah. Oh, well. Something I literally just learned last week about oh, pregnancy and it adds okay. to that list of why not to have a kid uh -huh. is that women have to have catheters when they like are giving birth. They're like that's wait when that's the catheter. Catheter. It's, it's the line the that they put pee, up your urethra. The pee. Yeah. For oh. pee. Wait, women have to have that, How especially you have if that you have a C-section. So you have something in and something coming out. Yeah, I just learned this, and then uh, the room that we were talking, all the women have had babies. They're like, oh yeah, my catheter did this and this. Oh yeah, I had one put in too. Like, oh yeah, but you don't feel it. But I'm like, where's the list? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> wait, 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 why is that a uh, cause of concern? Because you can't feel anything down there. I guess like they want you to pee before you they have want, your baby. I think they want to empty out your bladder before you have the baby. Oh. So that makes sense. But I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't what? want that. So oh I, my gosh. I also uh, recently found out that like in order to or to prepare to have a baby, not only does the girl have to like eat right work out whatever the guy also can't get in a hot tub can't mm -hmm. smoke mm -hmm. anything can't drink for a while what a, i don't know all the rules do you guys know the okay so for guys like there's a lot of things you can't do mm -hmm. basically you just have to be healthy eating bad yeah. messes up sperm count not being hydrated um hot tubs you cannot overheat your testicles they even recommend wearing like loose like sweats just so they're not what? like but for how long before you're trying uh from what i've read like four weeks and also is it about the sperm count or the quality of sperm? Both. Because, oh. Yeah, the okay. quality and the amount. So the, the, the more healthy and the more you follow the rules, the more likely you are to be successful. Oh. What, uh, what, At having you, a baby. Oh, I think you yeah. meant like the kid to be successful in life. No, no, no. <laughs> I was like, I have ADHD, <laughs> slight OCD, oh, I'm fine. Dang, hot tub. There's just yep. so many different Probably my mom probably hot tub yeah. a lot. Yeah, or dad, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, like, even as, the, like, you can't drink, like, you can't do anything because it could just complete, like, even stress, you can't yeah. be stressing. While pregnant? Huh. While, While pregnant, pregnant or even for the guys, like, everything affects it. That mm -hmm. sucks, though, because, like, the guy has to do all these things, and then as soon as she's pregnant, he's like, I can eat whatever. Yeah, well, we've decided yeah. that whenever she does decide to get pregnant, I'm not going to drink, and I'm just going to kind of, like, follow, be healthy, too. With I don't her. drink, we don't drink, none of us drink that We don't really drink that anyways. Yeah. Yeah. But like, just be healthy, like no fast food. Like if she yeah. wants to eat a weird craving, yeah. I'll eat it with her too. Like we just oh. did a pregnancy craving video. It was gross. And apparently people like Ritz crackers. With mayonnaise. And um, sardines. Oh. Oh, and blueberries. blueberries. That's oh. the thing. You guys should, have oh. you guys done that yet? That video? You guys should do pregnancy, pregnancy cravings. You guys should try it's pregnancy cravings. We've done it for gross. like a bit, but not like the entire video. You should. It's gross. It's crazy. People are crazy. And now with the internet, it's even crazier. Uh, how many kids do you guys want? Mm. Uh, I always say, we'll see how the first one goes. <laughs> and then oh, I so can decide. Mm -hmm. But um, I would like two. At least two. I At feel least like two. growing up. Well, I think, I think, and this is, uh, brought up a similar, like, memory I've had. I remember one time I was, like, dating this girl, and, uh, I met her brother, and it, it was whatever, and then we started talking about homeschooling, and how they were homeschooled. And I was like, oh, I know. 
And then they're like, how'd you know we were homeschooled? I was like, oh, you could just tell. And they were super offended. They were oh. like, what? No, what? No, you can't tell. And I was like, whoa, well, I didn't mean it like offensively. Mm-hmm. I didn't mean it. Like you can just tell sometimes when someone's an only child or if somebody's homeschooled, not in a bad way. Yeah. It's just different. Mm-hmm. And they did not like that because I think they, they like were insecure about that because they they were home all the time. All the only influences they had on their personality mm-hmm. were their parents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you go to public school or you go to like whatever school, any school, you get all these different things. Yeah. So you can you can sometimes tell. Mm-hmm. And they did not like that. I could tell. You guys have um, older child, middle child, and youngest child syndromes. And youngest. What's that youngest mean? Child. You guys fit into the stereotypes of an older, middle, and younger. What? What? Do you know them? Kind Older, of. Uh, What's yeah, the first guess? child? You guess. Yes. Okay, guess. so the oldest one, I've heard that they are um, just you know, responsible, looking, you know, just making sure everyone's protected. Cleaning. The middle one is um, attention? I think he's rebellious. Isn't rebellious he? attention. Probably, that, yeah. that's accurate. Isn't it a class clown too? Like the, mm-hmm. the funny? Well, I it's, think so. Yeah, it's like more like leader, leader aspect, like mm-hmm. um, just like wanting to take care of everyone. Yeah. You're the older one. You feel like you have to take on this a lot, a lot of responsibility. Middle child, like just wants to be goofy, funny, mm-hmm. class clown, just Rebel. like... Fight. Yeah, just like yeah. kind of the troublemaker, rebel. Uh, youngest is like the baby one, the, the baby one, yep. the favorite one, <clears throat> and then yeah, 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 yeah. like <laughs> or really or really like paid attention to and yeah. So hmm. yeah, it's pretty cool. Nothing yeah, wrong you guys, with it. It's you guys really fit awesome. all those after knowing all of you guys <laughs> for so. Are you the years. younger one out of the twins? I'm the older one. Oh, you're the older mm-hmm. one. By how much? Forty-five minutes, oh, and wow. then when Andrew came into the mix, for oh. sure, youngest child. He was. <laughs> oh yeah, he's our parents' favorite. Yeah, that's okay. He's We're okay. Favorite. Yeah. yeah, I like him way better than Aaron. Same. Me too. He, <laughs> he's my favorite bird. I'm, I'm so excited to have a kid one day because I know Aaron was like taking care of you guys were taking care of Andrew oh, yeah. when oh, yeah. you guys we were like when he was a baby. We're parents. Mm-hmm. So Sometimes. it's like I loved it. That gives me a lot of hope. He was just a good kid. <laughs> he was so never. Fun. He rarely cried. Diapers weren't an issue. Yeah, he never complained. I don't. I think at the beginning, but oh, yeah. we're his brothers. Oh yeah. Pretty do much. You, He'll, do we think he's how how different do we think Andrew's going to be? He's got an earring. He got an earring. How different first. though? I like because he was so different when he left for college, and now he seems very yeah. When he like first a whole got different to us, mm-hmm. he was like super shy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. He, he was not in a good place. Then he left a lot more confident. Then he went to college, and he's seemingly a lot confident. We've heard some stories, Andrew. If you're watching this, we know what you've been up to. Mm-hmm. 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 We know. You think we don't know? We know. Mm-hmm. We got spies in that school. <laughs> uh, but I think he's going to come back. I think he's going to be the same, just less. Uh, you can Because like a lot of times you can tell if you ask him something or if he's in a situation, he's like in his head, he's like, he like kind of panics. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna have that anymore. I think he's just gonna be chill and like, mm-hmm. and that's it. I think he's just be a more confident version of himself. I'm pretty sure that's... college really brings out people's like yeah out of their shell. Yeah, that helped it helped me in college. So I'm pretty pretty sure Andrew. That's just some crazy fine. years. Yeah, college. So what do you think about Alex as your brother-in-law? <laughs> <laughs> I love Alex. I think oh. he's a great brother-in-law. Oh. I think he's a good brother to you. I think you're a good son to your parents. Oh. That's what I do. And wow. it's, it, I'm proud to say that we're family. Oh. Like, oh. Yeah. Don't cry. It's going to be the third time he's going to cry. <laughs> no, I'm not going to cry. I've cried <laughs> twice already. I'm not going to cry. Um, oh, thank you. Oh. I like to... I, I, that's uh, important to me is to try to be a good brother, good son, good best friend, good friend. Yeah. Like, I want people to be able to talk to me about like, oh, he's just a good person. Yeah. And that's... that's um, that's what for what you? I, what do you think of your new sister-in-law? Uh, I think she's, she's been wanting to hear this forever. Yeah. I think she is perfect fit for you. <laughs> I think Aww. she's perfect fit for the family. Oh. I think she's a, a great older sister to Andrew, a great sister to Mariah, uh, and you're very family-oriented. So you yeah. just you're just one of us now. Yep. And, yeah. One more, so. one more compliment away from making her cry. No. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, whenever your stomach hurts and you have to toot, I'll be the only one to not leave the room, and I will bask in it with you. I think that's something we can both understand. You both fart so I'll join much. you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we can mix oh, it up. I... You guys fart like a lot, like oh. together. It was, uh, it was well, out of the two well, couples, the Lex, uh, Lex, and Ron, Ron. Okay. Yes, it's us. Yeah, I it's days, unfortunate. But no, it's, it's mainly me. Unfortunately, we're just yeah. really stinky and silent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I think they we're, know. We're, we're, we're actually, I think, I don't know if the video is going to come out before or after this, but we're doing another video together. And this time it's not Lex Lex versus Ron Ron. It's brothers versus oh. sister-in-laws. Ooh. And because you guys cheated and, and if I don't want to spoil it, but if you haven't seen the married versus dating on the Wasabi Production channel, go watch that because there's some cheaters. <laughs> what did we <laughs> cheat? How no, did not you. Cheat? The girls. <laughs> the girls. How did they cheat? What do we do? What do you guys do? won and you weren't even on the same team. <laughs> like, they got a better connection, I think. Remember we both said, remember we had the same answer? Don't say it because I want them to yeah. go watch it, but I don't want to ruin it. Spoil it for them. Right, right, but right. we both wrote the same answer and they both did not say that at all. Oh. Yeah. I mean, her and Alexis text so much. Every day. I'm, oh, so much. Aww. I hear Alexis' I love her. voice so often. I love Alexis. It's so sweet. It's so great. I'm so happy. You want me to marry her? Absolutely. When? She keeps <laughs> telling me, is he going to propose yet? Propose. Tell him to propose. Well, tell him to propose I can't right tell now. You. It's so, I know you can't. We've you talked about me. this. I can't. I, no, I can't tell you. I'm not. You're going to tell your wife. If you tell anybody that has a wife, they're going to tell their but wife. There's so many know. secrets I haven't told her. Can tell I can tell Roy. And then you can tell Who's he going to tell? I have so many secrets I haven't told her. So you, can, you can tell me. <laughs> I was so delayed. I was waiting. I looked over waiting. It's just like, you can tell <laughs> me. I won't tell her. No, I can't. <clears throat> Well, it's when okay. The It'll time be a surprise comes, for all of you. When what? the time what comes, we're gonna have a lot of great times together. No, when we're all when we're all together. I feel like this is the trifecta. Like our kids are gonna grow up together, and we're like us three are gonna help each other out. Like I told Roy, we should make this agreement too. Whenever, no matter what, if like the baby wakes up at two a.m. and you're taking care of the baby, and Ronnie has to get up early for something, and you're like, oh, I need this from the store, you can always call me, and I'll drive over there, and I'll be like, oh, come on, okay. Do we want that? I don't know. No, that's what I said too. No, I was like, that's a lot of responsibility. I was like, I reinforcement. Like, because you, you're not going to want to, but if you ever need somebody to do something and you have no other choice, then you can be like, Alex, I'm like, oh. I might really ask Roy. Answer, <laughs> I might ask Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe we'll have like fun. a tally going. So like, you can't ask two times back to back without the other person asking. No favor favors. Yeah, so if you ask me, I you have to wait till I ask you for you to ask me again. But you always have Roy do. <laughs> I, I think this is a lie. It's too confusing. Oh, yeah, we can nah, be like the teachers. It's a good idea. Okay, maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Let me think about it. Community is important. No, you're already locked in. We already agreed on it. Oh, yeah, we did agree. But he'll think about it for you. What's so yeah. crazy is our kids and your kids are all going to be cousins. <laughs> oh, I've told I've, wait, I've wait, explained wait, wait, wait. to her how with the Filipinos, yeah. like if anyone's like if you see them all the time, they become like your cousin. Oh, like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. cousin. Yeah. I feel like Cousins. you guys are gonna beat me in having a kid We're first. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I know, but I think you got, your kids are gonna be like maybe a year or two older than mine because I'm a little mm -hmm. behind. But even though our kids aren't related, they'll still call your kids Kuya and Ate, yeah. which means older brother, older sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. even they call though my kids sensei. <laughs> yeah. uh, I remember somebody like Senpai. I saw a clip and it was like <laughs> it was like uh, a, a kid saying dad why do we call him uncle Roy if he's not your brother and then the dad leans in and he's like and and the caption said when you tell the lore of your best friend and then he's like okay and then it was just like a flashback oh. to all oh, everything we've been through and they're like whoa that is my uncle dude that's, that's a that's a Gen Z term now lore yeah. lore it's very popular now oh well, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh. And We're then be like, eventually we will have our own lures. Yeah, get, just, get with the times, Ronnie. I, yeah, I'm a cusper. Uh -huh. I, I cusp. I'm on the end of millennial and beginning of Gen Z. I'm 1996. Mm. It's that's weird. Not, you're such a that's cusper. That's millennial. It's technically millennial, but yeah. I also relate to a lot of Gen Z. But then mm. there's, I relate to a lot of millennial, but then there's a lot of things that you guys talk about, and I'm like. A lot of songs. <laughs> like. Like your wedding at the what? end one where you're like just throwing back to the old songs. Oh, like, like the pop. pop I've been rock. learning. He's oh, been okay, teaching okay. me. But Ocean yeah. Ocean Avenue and stuff. How much yeah. are weddings? How depends. much are rings? It depends. How um, it are. depends. Uh, uh how, okay. Yeah. Don't tell me how much your rings were, but give me like a a a, a ten thousand range. So if it was like nine thousand, be like, oh, it was between five and ten, Wait, or it was between eight which and ring? 50. Both of them to get all the rings combined because they're both. Expensive. There's multiple rings. You have to get his, yeah. his this ring. Yeah, well, you have to get your uh, guys have to get their own rings. Yeah. Yes. And then I have two. They, they have I've got a band. Yeah. Wait. So I have to get the engagement ring, and yes. then at the marriage I get the my band. own ring and her ring. Yes. yes. And which was more expensive, engagement or the what, married ring? Engagement. engagement. How come we can't just use the engagement ring for the wedding? <laughs> it's different. Because uh, that's 
What's the science behind that? What's the what is well, it? Well, the wedding band's usually just a That's basic a circle. No, for girls, they get two rings. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But do you wear them both? I wear them both. Mm-hmm. Uh, do yeah. everybody wear both? Yeah, most of the time. Okay, Mona has the, three. Which one? The big one is the engagement ring. That's the yeah. bigger one. Yeah, yeah let me rock. see these. Let me see these. Do not drop it. But according, <laughs> no, don't do that. I he did it on our them. wedding day. You remember when we did that on our courthouse? I house? did. No, he pretended to oh, drop oh, it down dropped, the drain. Oh, oh, yeah. And it was he dropped something, and I was like, oh. it was a, it was a quarter, a, a, a quarter, a middle child. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> such a middle child. Okay, so the the how, what's the difference? Like, is this half the price of this one, or I think yeah, so. about half? Mm, okay. Well, yeah, no. it well I mean, according it's to Michael Scott, you're supposed to spend a quarter of your entire savings. Well, I you mean, don't need to. I, you don't need like, to. I'm glad we're not at the peaks. I thought it was. <laughs> we're not at peaks at YouTube. I'm like, yo, I have to spend three hundred thousand on. This. <laughs> no the, way. I think the general rule is whatever you you've made in two months is what you should spend on a ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think that applies to every situation. For me, I was not about to wear like a super crazy expensive ring on my finger. That's mm. what that's what I'm worried about because I'm like I. Have to find the line between having something too valuable on my wife's mm-hmm. hand i don't want her walking around by herself with that or like just not with me around mm. so that's scary and it depends on the individual too mm-hmm. yeah. like, does you alexis seem like the girl who likes bling bling no but i'm sure she would appreciate something nicer but right. I, she, she won't want like a giant diamond or anything or something flashy just go with your heart man yeah what a no price can compare to the pricelessness of mm-hmm. that ring that stays in the finger forever baby what rings are you guys wearing right now let me see I wear a rubber ring. Oh, he does too sometimes. I do sometimes. Because those things hurt if you get caught on something. And you yeah, saw Jimmy yeah. Fallon. Yep, very finger. common. That's a very common <laughs> thing to happen. I think I'm going to wear rubber a lot too. Yeah, yeah. it's just I'd... nice too. And I, I like, I'm I'm so mm-hmm. uh, like scatterbrained, I'll probably lose it. So yeah. I got, at yeah. least for the first year, I'll probably wear the band. I've lost so To many get used to wearing a ring. Yeah. Dude, the first time I got scratched on this ring, I was so sad. Yeah. But then I realized it's supposed to be scratched. And you can buff it out too. Nice. You should, that. <laughs> <laughs> you should yeah. start asking questions. What? Tell um, Alexis. So like just hinting questions about the ring. Oh, oh Alexis. Oh. No, 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 no. That's what I would use Ronnie for, but I can't because she's going to spill it. I know it. Yeah. She's not even denying it. I already know so much. <laughs> yeah, but I can't. I can't. I don't, maybe you know maybe so just much? send it all to me. Maybe. Just so I have it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure. I, I don't know. I feel like I don't get to choose the ring. I should probably get something she wants, right? But how do I find out what she um, wants without letting her friends know that won't keep it a secret from her? Did you go Ask ring now. shopping with Erin when you? So or did what, you get her the what ring? we did so was before we, did very we got untra- married. Yeah, it was very untraditional. What yeah, we just, but what before we, did. we got married, she knew it was going to happen at some point, so she would send me inspo, and then I went to the ring maker and I was like, "Hey, here's the inspo my wife sent. What do you think?" And then they helped me design a ring. Yeah, mm. because oh. we asked my parents for per- my permission t- permission together. Mm. Yeah, she wanted to be a part of it. I, like, okay. I wanted to see what they said. <laughs> she was worried they were going to say no. Uh, no, I just felt like, you know, it's such a big decision. I, I just like, I wanted to be there. I mm-hmm. wanted to be a part of like me getting married. Like mm-hmm. if they say yes or not, and, yeah. you know, be happy and content with that. Mm-hmm. And I knew they would say yes, but. Where would you have the wedding? Right here in the podcast room. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <stop. laughs> I was like, know. who might do it? You know what? You know what? We're getting to a topic that we're going to need to do another podcast. So you yeah. guys got to come back okay. and help me figure this stuff out. <laughs> Show me the ways. Until next time, see you guys every Monday on the Spicy Fruit Channel, 5 a.m. on Sp- uh, Spotify and Apple. And 2 p.m. on YouTube. Yeah. Woo. All right. Yeah. Thanks for uh, coming in the podcast. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. This for was sure. so fun. Woo. Wow. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.